first day that we arrived, we had um, a rick. It was a Sunday, and we were fortunate enough to have a rickshaw ride around Delhi, which was fantastic to uh, go through the really narrow streets, and you could see all the little shops and um, sort of the smells and all the sights, all the pretty colours of the saris and that in the shops. What strikes you most is like um, how lively it is, and it's quite loud. And so uh, yeah, and it's just really rich and vibrant there. I can remember the drive from the airport um, to the the hostel we stayed in and just sort of seeing the straight away the sort of difference of the wealth and the poverty and the lively atmosphere and sort of rickshaws going straight into the middle of the road and kind of like the fearlessness of everything really. I think my favourite activity was the when we were in Varanasi when we'd done the evening trip on the Ganges and uh, being able to send lights down the Ganges and the ceremony which was going on at the time and um, I thought it was a tremendous experience. With the India trip I wanted to provide the students with as many different experiences as possible uh, so it included uh, visits to uh, temples, to religious places of different denominations including a mosque and Hindu temples. Um, I also wanted to provide um, them with the experience of the rich historical tradition in India. Uh, so we visited places of historic importance and of course you can't go to North India without going to the Taj Mahal. I feel like the trip provided us with opportunities that we wouldn't have otherwise had if we had gone with any other group or travel agent. They knew exactly the right places to take us that would allow us to learn academically and both in personal growth. My favourite activity was definitely going to the school. It was just really eye-opening to see how other people who were maybe less fortunate than ourselves live. Well, I think I saw more in 10 days on that trip than I did from 18 months working in India. The experience of going around India itself and seeing the people, talking to the people, um, things which I never did while I was working there. It was a wonderful experience. The Religious Studies course at Newport is very visit orientated from the first year. We try and visit many places attached to each religion that we look at. And the India trip really is the highlight of that. And I think it's a wonderful opportunity for students to go in a relatively safe environment together to a trip that's tailored to what the things that they're going to be studying or have studied. Um, and so it provides them with an opportunity that, that they might not ordinarily have.